This Excel formula helps us get so much done in Excel. It loves teaming up with other formulae and it's fairly simple even for Excel beginners to learn. So why don't more people know about it? Why aren't more people using this formula in this tutorial? We're going to look at some applications first, appreciate the power of this formula. Then I'm going to walk you through it step by step from a very simple example, get you using this powerful Excel formula. With that said, let's get into the download file. So download the download file. Link is in the description below and work along with me. We've got two applications to look at first. This is our first application. We've got a fairly standard data set here. We've got some salary data person on the left here. Now in this cell, I can select a person and I can see data being pulled through and a result displaying over here in column F. So I'm going to take this back to person. Uh, let's go back to person one at the top and make sure you're trying this yourself. And I can see salary band two here. But the cool thing about this setup is I can choose which column I want to display. For example, if I want to choose region, I can see person one is in the south region. If I want to choose the salary, I can see the person's salary pulling through there. So how about that dynamic function? It's all happening because of this one formula. Can you guess what this formula is? Let's look at application two. So we've got a simulated data set here. We've got days and then videos across the top. And this is the number of video views per day. So at the moment, we're just looking at a single cell, but using this formula, we can dynamically sum up any number of cells. For example, if I change the end day to day three, we can now see we're now adding up three days. Now I've got some conditional formatting in to highlight the days that we're adding up. What if we go to video three here, we can see we're adding up uh, all of the cells from day one to day three, from video one to video three. And I can see at the bottom of Excel that makes 150 there. So a couple of cool applications there. What formula is doing this? Before we get into it, I'm going to walk you through it step by step. Let me quick, quickly tell you about my Excel cheat sheet. I've laid it out for you. The things you need to know in Excel, the 13 techniques and 21 formally. It's literally a checklist so you can understand what you need to know in Excel. And at the moment, you're going to get three video tutorials just like this one, never released on YouTube for free. I'm going to send those to your inbox. The link is in the description for your Excel cheat sheet. Make sure you get involved there. So let's get back into the download file. We're going to head over to the practice area here. So here's our first exercise should be nice and easy. So let's deal with the concept first. Excel is all about position control, position control. What do we mean by position control? Well, we know we know what we have in Excel. We have our grid, our canvas, our playground, our nightmare, whatever it is for you. But we have cells that are arranged into rows and columns. Now, the extent to which you can control position, so control which row and column you're in. That's a big determinant of your impact as an Excel programmer, position control. And this formula is all to do with position control. So our first exercise here, how far is Luna's name across this range? Do you know a formula that could return that? So one, two, three, Luna is three cells across this range. In this case, three columns across this range. What formula would allow us to do that? Go ahead and work along with me. Yes, the match formula, one of my favorite formula in Excel. We need a lookup value. The value we want to look up in this case is Luna's name. Then we need a lookup array. So what range do we want to look at? Excel is going to count along that range until it gets to the lookup value, the value that we want to look at. So I'm going to go ahead and select the range here and then comma, then optionally at the end, we're just gonna put zero in here. If you're using numbers, you can do a, approximate matches, greater than, less than, not gonna cover that in this video because we're using discrete data, in this case, case text. So that's our full formula setup for the match formula. I told you, fairly simple, fairly straightforward. Make sure you're working along with me. So I can hit enter now and I can see three. That's because Luna is one, two, three cells across the range that we've looked at there and we can prove this let's go for biff big shout out to biff the boston terrier by the way uh biff is one here because he's the first cell in the range so that's how we can use position control the match formula in a row what about in a column we know we've got to do deal with rows and columns when we're talking about position control the same idea make sure you're practicing excel is a skill you have to be practicing welcome to tiger spreadsheet solutions that's what we talk about all the time so equals match repetition let's go and do it 
lookup value, this value, comma, lookup array. Let's go and select the column here, comma again, and then we know we're using discrete data, using text. We can go zero at the end there and hit enter. Once again, we've got a value of, value of three. If we put Betty's name in here, big shout out to Betty, Black Labrador just next door, we're gonna get a value of four. So hopefully fairly simple, hopefully fairly straightforward, but is this the first time you've used the match formula? A lot of people have never even heard about the match formula, but the truth is it does so much good work in the background. It's a great facilitator of other formulas. So now let's go back to our applications and can we get match working? First, let's understand what match is doing here. It's allowing us to select the column that we're going to display. So in this case, we're displaying salary in thousands. If we select a different column here that we can uh, select region, it's now displaying region. How is that working? As I said, Match is a great facilitator. It loves working with other formulae, even though it never gets the glory. VLOOKUP gets the glory, other formulae get the glory, Match never does. So in this case, Match is working with VLOOKUP. We know when we're when we're creating a VLOOKUP formula, we have to have column index number, which is which column, what column number do you want to return a value from? And typically, uh, we put a number in there. I'm going to go ahead and do that by adjusting this VLOOKUP formula. I'm just going to put a value of two in here. So what's going to happen now? Uh, which column are we going to return a value from now? If I hit enter, we've now got south because two is the second column, uh, one, two, the second column. So we're returning a value from the second column, but we can make this dynamic. This third part of the formula, we can make it dynamic using match. Can you see how this is going to work? Match you'll often see, well, in good practice anyway, combining with uh, data validation, combining with a drop down menu that ensures we're going to be able to find the value that we're trying to find when we use the match formula. So let's build the match formula here. And from our easy example, hopefully, hopefully you've built some confidence. This is the value we want to look up. The lookup array is the range that we want to count across to locate our value. And there we go. Our lookup array is in, comma and zero optionally. So that's our match formula. Hopefully you're fairly comfortable. You've done three repetitions now. Got to do some more repetitions. But anyway, three is OK. So our match formula is in. So now we can go back to VLOOKUP. And rather than hard coding, rather than hard coding the column, column number here, I'm going to select the match formula that we just created. So you can see we don't have a value as the column index number as the third component of the formula. We're actually pointing to a cell. What does that cell contain? It contains our great facilitator, the one Excel formula that does all this, the match formula, of course. So go ahead and prove this. Now you can go for name, person one, uh, salary thousands, salary band. Can you see the power, in this case, Match working with VLOOKUP? Um, other great friends that Match has, Match is good friends with the offset formula as well. This example is a little more difficult, but I want you to try it yourself. See if you can get it working, because with offset, we can determine the height, the height in rows and the width in columns of the range that we want to return. That means we can combine it with sum to get this effect. So when we change um, the parameters here, we can see we're summing up different ranges there. So guys, it's all about the match formula, all about the match formula. So simple, so powerful, never gets any glory like VLOOKUP, an XLOOKUP and the others. I love the match formula. So go ahead, uh, download uh, my Excel cheat sheet, the 13 techniques, 21 formula you need to know. Also three private mailing list only tutorial videos in there. Good luck with your Excel work, guys. I'll see you in the next video.